Brake Master Cylinder Rebuild Kit coming at you. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be stepping you through the second part of the Brake Rebuild series for the Intrepid. Now we've got the Master Cylinder here. It's very similar to a CRG, a Birrell, uh, most of the over-center lever master cylinders are similar to this. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to get it done. Don't forget to turn on all the notifications, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and thanks to everybody that's following along on Patreon as well. So once you've got your master cylinder removed from the go-kart, it should look something like this. And we've got, this is the over-center lever arm that I'm talking about. The, the piston is down in here, and it's got two lip seals. So we're gonna pull this mechanism out today remove the cap, clean it all out, put the new seals in and reassemble it. The first thing we're going to do is remove the uh, brake master cylinder filler cap. This is where you put your brake fluid in. So take this guy off, just under your little cap screws, lay them out over there. So now you can remove the, the cap and this little rubber guy. So they fit together just like that. This one here is a bit dirty, but we'll clean all that up and be able to reuse it. This is your brake reservoir here where you fill up with the brake fluid. Next up, we're gonna remove the lever arm mechanism. This little screw here is just a retaining screw. It stops the piston from retracting too far in the master cylinder. So let's remove that, then take the grub screw out and remove the whole assembly. Sometimes it's easier if you just move the uh, piston down in the cylinder a bit and take some of the pressure off the screw. And then, ah, uh, this one's really tight. It's probably got some Loctite on there, or the thread's a little bit damaged. Now, when you're doing this, unscrew it all the way, and just check the thread for any damages. Ah, oh, it gets a bit easier, so it was just a bit of Loctite. As you can see, there's a bit of spring tension on the lever arm and the piston. So just be careful when you're pulling it all apart. So as you can see here on the bench, we've got the master cylinder body here, then the spring, the coils go backwards here towards the end of the piston. This little guy here comes off the end. We're gonna be replacing this seal here and this one here, they're the two lip seals. And then this is the, the lever arm. It's just got a little pivot here. Um, and over here was the dowel pin and the grub screw that we took out. Now that was going through this hole. That's the pivot. And then also too, we've got our little locking screw. Now that screws into the side of the body and stops the piston over here retracting with the under when it's under the spring tension. So next up, we're gonna show you how to remove the seals from the piston. So the piston on these uh, master cylinders are a little bit bigger than the Tony Cut one. If you haven't watched that video, you can click in the link in the description below. Now these lip seals, uh, this one here on the front, it just pulls off. Okay, that one goes on there. And then this one here, we're just going to use our rounded off pick to get down into the groove and flick it out and pull it out off the back of the piston. So all we're going to do here is just push the um, pick down behind the seal. And with the rounded off pick, you're not going to scratch the hell out of the aluminium piston. And you can just do these, these little guys. Righto. And then, if you just sort of Peel it off with your thumb. Like a, like if you're fitting a tie, you know, you come up over the edge and then peel it around and off. So now you've disassembled all the parts, give them a good clean off with some brake cleaner, workshop solvent, methylated spirits, wipe it down with the rags, blow it out with a bit of compressed air, and then it's ready to go back together. Once you've finished cleaning out all the grease and oil, give it a rub down with methylated spirits and blow the last bit off with compressed air. So I just dip uh, the uh, brake fluid, uh, sorry, the rag into the methylated spirits and then just rub it all over everything and that'll break down any of the solvent and once we blow it off with a bit of compressed air, it should be like brand new. Before you start the reassembly, just make sure all the other parts are clean too. Thank you. 
So you can see on the cover here that we had a little bit of oxidized uh, brake fluid, dirt, grit, and it had blocked up all the cavities here. Now this is a breather system. So this little aluminium guy goes in the black cover, which is also aluminium, but you've, it's got a little groove here and there's, it's for ventilation. It's so that that diaphragm that goes on here can move in and out as the fluid goes up and down in the master cylinder. Now with this all blocked off, it would stop the brakes from self-leveling properly and make it all sorts of a problem. So what we're going to do is get some scotch bright and get rid of all that gum and build up of the old fluid and then put them back together. Now it's time to reassemble. So the first thing you're going to do is grab your lip seal and chuck this little lip down inside the piston. So with the uh, lip down inside this part of the piston, we're just going to hold it in there with our thumb and then we're going to grab the pick and then try to hold it here and push it around and on. And then once it goes up over the edge, yeah, it'll, it'll fall straight in. Now sometimes you can use a... Uh, a, a bit of lube here on the on the piston uh, and other times it just makes the seal too slippery and you can't hang on to it so I'm going to just try and do this this way first so put it on there and then all we're going to do is just try to stretch that up and over oh, geez, it's tight. so that didn't work with it dry so we're going to try the next method with a little bit of lubrication here if you just go with the rubber grease on that side of the piston what we can do is we can put the seal down in there hold it with our thumb and then hopefully we can just push that up and over and with the extra lube on there ah that's gonna do it it just slips on over I know it doesn't look that easy and it's not but once you get the seal on you're good to go now the front seal on these ones is way easier because it just sits down on this little spigot. These holes here are for your self-adjusting brake reservoir so the fluid can come down here and then come in behind the seal and refill as necessary. Slide those on, place this guy back on there and then you're good to reassemble the whole assembly inside the master cylinder and it'll look something like this. So next up, get yourself some rubber grease pre-lube your seals and your master cylinder and put it all back together. So get a little bit of rubber grease on your finger and just go over the seal edge like that. And you can also do this back one. All right, so now that's all ready to go. And then we're just gonna lube up the inside of the master cylinder as well. Same thing, just put a little bit down in the in the bore of your master cylinder with the grease just so this all goes back together nice and easy. Okay so now with the um, piston and the spring pre-assembled you can put your plunger in. Now it is under a bit of spring tension so you're gonna have to hold that in as hard as you can. Ah, it is a bit tight and then you can put this little dowel through there and once you've got that in you can relax. All right, push it home with the Allen key. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little dab of Loctite on the grub screw. We don't want too much down there because we don't wanna get the pin stuck in there as well. And then we're just gonna screw that home. And then now all we've gotta do is put in our, our retaining, retaining bolt here. Same thing, add a tiny bit of Loctite. As you screw it in, make sure that you push the piston down into the cylinder. Screw that guy into there. And right, nip it up. Make sure that's locked off and you've got a perfectly operating new brake system. Okay, so now that we've got the main part of the master cylinder rebuilding done, it's just up to the last 
couple little stages and we're all done. So first up we're going to put the little filler plug in. We can leave that loose because we're going to be needing to undo that to bleed the brakes. This here is the banjo bolt. This is where our um, brake lines are going to get fitted. So we just screw that back in there. Same thing, we've got to take it off to reconnect it on the cart. Then we've got our little rubber boot. That goes in there like so. This little guy drops in there. And last but not least, the cover. Hold it down with its two screws. So that completes the brake rebuild for this Intrepid go-kart. This is a customer of ours, Dave Evans. He's a great guy. Shout out to Dave. Now, if you did, didn't follow along and have any questions about this brake system or any other brake system, please leave it in the comment section below. Turn on the notifications, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, follow along on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic, or go to our website www.powerrepublic.com.au and grab yourself a t-shirt or a brand new master cylinder rebuild kit. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.